An amazing image released by NASA, a panorama of 141 wide-angle pictures captured by the Cassini spacecraft on July 19th. We just got it, and it gives us one of the most detailed looks at the area of Saturn. Now, as you can see in the image, Earth appears as a bright blue dot on the lower right, so you can see right there. Ma Venus is on the upper left, and Mars appears as a faint red dot above and to the left of Venus. The image covers more than 400,000 miles, which brings us to tonight's number, 746 million miles. That's the distance between Saturn and the Earth when the two planets are at their closest. And when they're on opposite sides of the sun, they can be more than a billion miles apart. It's obviously because of the elliptical orbit. Sounds like a lot, and yet it doesn't take all that long to get there. Because in 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons spacecraft. It took only two years and four months to get to Saturn, which is pretty incredible. Doable. So how much would a trip to Saturn cost the average tourist if you actually wanted to see that yourself? Well, we looked at tickets on the Virgin Galactic, right? They currently cost $250,000 for two and a half hours in space. So using that rate, we extrapolated it should cost a space tourist $2 billion each way to go sightseeing at Saturn. That's one way. It doesn't include snacks, upgrades, things like that, food, you know. But we figured no one would spend more than 20% of their wealth on such a trip, right? So we looked at people worth, you know, a lot of money, $20 billion more. So imagine five years on a round-trip tour to Saturn, up close and personal time with Sergey Brin of Google, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Vladimir Putin. All of them easily have that money. The question is, which one would you actually want to sit next to for five years?